So hello, hello, all my beautiful people. So it's been quite the wander um, going on, um, really since the gateway and then even into this full moon that we just had. So the collective reading and the crystal convo that we typically have didn't quite happen on their days because um, there was a moment of just wusa and um, getting, you know, focused into the newness after giving uh, so many messages in that space for Divine Feminine. So here we go with the collective reading. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in with me, I am Ashes the Reaper. Thank you for joining me. Um, these messages are for your healing purposes. They are not for entertainment. So if you're here for entertainment, um, there's plenty of other readers that you can tune into. Um, this is for people that are ready to participate along their healing journey and you're looking for some form of guidance, um, confirmation. Uh, if you need any um, mentorship or any type of guidance, I have programs that are assisting with healing. Um, as far and also workshops and personal readings that I also provide um, be mindful that my readings um, do not contain information about who will I fall in love with do you think that I'll get this job I really really want it my readings are pertaining towards where you are in your healing journey what spirit and ancestors or whoever comes up on your spiritual team to divulge to me what information you need to know to be in a healed space so you can answer those questions yourself okay it's all about heart healing and rebirthing into, you know, rediscovering who you are in your divine authentic self, okay? That is what I'm about. That is what I read about um, because that's the charge and mantle that's been given to me. Spirit, please give us um, the knowledge that you would like for us to have in this moment through the cards. Um, you have said to pull out of the cosmic cards. Um, we're going to burn. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right, Spirit says we'll do just a little bit of Apollo before we begin. All right. So we've got some people that are really working on cleansing the wounds, um, the things that have been left open, the things that have been forgotten, which is really, really good because there's been a lot of effort and work that's been into making sure that that information is being acknowledged and absolutely being worked on. So we're going to go ahead and get this Apollo jumping. All right, and just feel out the essence of that because someone apparently needs it. Um, you're working very hard. I hear spirits say, don't lose any of the faith. Don't lose any of the hope. Um, you're good. burning like it needs to for whoever it is so give me a second I'm gonna tell y'all now where you are along the journey right now there are some opposing odds that are coming in because you weren't supposed to get free you weren't supposed to rebirth I mean not in the eyes of the opposing odds you see everything on that side was rooting for you to lose spirit said no mercy grace say no uh uh we have need of this one you see and so there's definitely some opposing odds I know for sure you've been doing a whole lot of shadow work okay spirit sees it and acknowledges it you're in a space of new beginning spirit has been trying to give everyone the knowledge and space of this new beginning for quite some time now um, just waiting for us to all walk into it right so if you have if you haven't get into it new chapter <laughs> this is six you know why because it's a change in our perspective it's a change in our perspective seeing in the real newness of your rebirthing okay so i'm talking to people that have been diligent along the path right you hear you hear the readings um 
and and you're really diligent along the path you've been paying attention you've been putting in your work you know that shadow self card that means you've been looking deep inside yourself whether it hurts to do it you know that full moon we just had if you paid attention to those reading spirit said you're gonna have to acknowledge it there's, there's a necessity for the divine feminine in particular um to focus in on any of that trauma to the womb so that life creation can begin to I guess come into a space of full circle because spirit says there's a stagnancy and a, and a dying away if, if the wound to the trauma still exists right so I mean if that's not a big enough call for you to, to get something done I don't know what is so spirit if you could please give me a card from this deck here to let us know how we're divinely guided what's going on with this new chapter that we have two more spirit says from this deck we've got surrender continue to keep your surrender going that's a key right it's a key in surrendering in order to get to the space to to release to heal but then there's also a surrendering when you're walking into the newness because you have to now surrender to the fact that spirit is going to be the one to to show you to usher in you know what needs to be seen no <laughs> Uh, allow your no to remain your no because you still have a space of needing to learn to walk in the flow of your own essence that you have created okay i hear spirit say maintain a level of holy love this is for yourself you see how she's cloaked and robed in this thing this has nothing to do with other people it is a no for them it is a surrendering to your own self your own throat chakra your own feelings your own emotions your own heart that is where you are in this moment your perspective must change all right because if not things can't flow the way they they need to you see she's cloaked oh the not this one but the card that we just had the the um holy love she's cloaked the same way this one is cloaked in the spirit you know it, it takes over the essence right you have to be fully engaged eyes closed here eyes closed here that's straight surrender right it's a surrendering so you can be in the flow of where you need to be because again spirit is saying just like before at the gateway i have released unto you you know this grand amount of um rebirthing right this grand amount of new beginning so what spirit is saying at this point is that we have to stay in this space of change of perspective you have to surrender your old beliefs for new beliefs you must stay in a space of surrender in order to be able to to cultivate this newness that spirit is trying to introduce you to not holding on to old ways or, or old things that used to be okay it's not anymore to ask and receive energy now but in order to see how these things are flowing from her hands here okay heart chakra the release cloaked in everything spirit is trying to offer to you cloaked in the 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 sense of you know spiritual guidance right is here also being protected by the angel because we've had plenty of angels come out for us we have our archangel michael who's always been a g from the beginning till now um archangel raphael came out for us um as well as archangel jophiel came out first when we started this this um journey here so this is just a reminder of that right it's it's covering your heart you're okay but see the release in her hands remember all of the surrender in the surrender card before in the other deck it's the woman it's the surrender and release card it's the woman holding the big vessel the 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 you know clay jar and it's uh, a crack space in it and out of the seal of it it's it's coming out this is practicing the spirit of no honey okay if it does not serve you if it's causing things for you to be stagnant you need to practice no exclamations on the end of this this means saying that thing with fervor okay conviction so that what needs to flow can flow because spirit is saying hey when you ask you have the ability to receive now why is this because the divine feminine who are really following these readings and not taking them lightly but putting in this work that spirit has been talking about hello what is going on is things are waking up you're tapping into that masculine energy hello spirit is going to allow me to pull from two other decks because we, we're going to pull a map card here because those of you who have been diligent on this journey especially the divine feminine i know this is a is a uh, collective reading but you know my my mantle is, is for the divine feminine in this chapter of my existence so 
Uh, that ask and receive is all about spirit saying, yeah, I told you if the divine feminine would heal those traumatic uh, wounds, what happens is the rebirthing occurs. What happens with the rebirthing? Now I'm in tune with the feminine in me and the masculine energy doesn't frighten me anymore. It doesn't cause me to self-sabotage anymore. It doesn't cause fear to kind of grip me and shrink me. It has me in a place now where I can accept the things manifesting so I can ask. Ask, create, cultivate feminine energy, and then I can receive it, the productivity, see it manifest in fruition in my life, masculine energy. Hello? Spirit says, into the unknown. Y'all, I got a song in my spirit, okay? Because when I hear that, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm not sure how many weeks ago it was, but I was in here with my daughter, and like, it was just, I, I was here at my working altar, and I was like, turn to the song, like, turn to the song on YouTube, and we just literally blasted the song. All our lungs out. Can't sing a lick, but the whole song, right, on, on Frozen. If you don't know, you don't have children, you didn't watch it. The second Frozen, it's a song where she sings my favorite song, Into the Unknown. Right? Here, every one of these cards. Are you paying attention? This is a being, in essence, inside of here. Right? This is no sight. This is all spiritual sight. Eyes closed in the natural. Eyes closed in the natural. Eyes closed in the natural. Into the unknown. Blindfold. Nothing tangible eyes closed because you have to say no to the things that seem like they make sense. You got to surrender everything to stay in a space of unknown. It is an ending of one chapter into something brand new. You understand? You are standing. You see here on the balcony. This is, you know, everything in these past couple of days have been about what are we on the precipice of, of getting into? Ancestors coming through. Thank you. What are we what are we on the precipice of coming into? Into the unknown. This is fruitfulness here, okay? This is fruitfulness here. This is all things that you can't see with your natural eyes, but have to tap into with your spiritual eye so that when you open your physical eyes, the things that you have concocted and worked in that divine feminine energy, you're able to receive, manifest it, but it's a going into the unknown. If y'all don't know the song, it go a little bit like this. Into the unknown, into the unknown. Okay, so it's, you know, she carries the song all high or whatnot, but it's like a re, I, I would, I'm gonna link it on this video so you can hear what it really sounds like, because I ain't trying to like, I ain't trying to spoil y'all with my good voice or anything, but it's, you know, the story of Anna and her sister Elsa, you know, and it's a song in there about being into the unknown because, mind you, watch the whole damn movie on some real talk, okay, for the collective. Here's your assignment, okay? Into the unknown because the whole, I'm gonna watch it myself probably again because the whole second Frozen takes you out of that mindset of just, you know, the first one was the gifting that she has or the abilities that she has was too powerful. So everybody tried to suppress it. Hear the word. Okay. Hear the message. Okay. Disney on you. Okay. <laughs> Revelatory word in, in all things. Okay. Wanting to suppress the gifting that she had put a glove over it, a covering over it. They covered your eyes that time. This time you're closing and surrendering yourself. And this time when the second Frozen came out, it was all about her wanting to honor wanting to forget or pretend that she didn't hear the call of spirit unctioning her to move this way go this way your lineage is here right it was an unleashing all things they didn't even know about you know their mother and their father and their lineage you understand remember in the divine feminine reading thank you spirit all things are coming well rounded when the ancestors were talking about um hey come to me it was a woman crush wednesday reading if you guys go back to it and it was the one where zora zora was zora in that one i think zora neil hurston was in that one and the lady anna was the one her card was representing and she was talking a lot about us digging into our ancestors they were calling right and that was the whole second frozen if you haven't watched it listen okay out of the mouths of babes, okay? Or out of the Disney movies that are made for our babes, okay? We can catch the revelation. You see it right here in the card. It's no game. So I'll link the song, but I would suggest you watch the whole thing and don't watch it. Don't watch everything just for entertainment. I know y'all be watching these readers for entertainment. I know that a lot of them say these are for entertainment purposes. Take what resonates and throw out what doesn't. If the word is for you, there is no taking out anything. There is no entertainment in this. This is work. This is healing. Ancestors said we don't take this thing lightly. This ain't no game. 
This is bloodline here. This is people's lives here. I'm calling unto them and they can't hear the unction of my spirit that is to them you must awaken. I sent to you the rebirth. Hey y'all. I'm who spirit talking about. I'm the rebirth. Rise. Push and birth that thing. We are now into the unknown. Behind her is the rainbow, which is all things significant of promise. The curtain has been has been removed, pulled back now. There is nobody that's now holding you back. If you are being held back, it's because of you. You must surrender. You must practice your conviction and know exactly what it is. You are now in tune to your divine energy. Which now can merge with the divine masculine energy. I'm just talking inside of you, not man and woman. Your balance of the divine feminine energy and the masculine energy. This is supposed to be a collective reading, but divine feminine, this for y'all. I, I, can, I, can't, I can't do nothing with it, okay? Spirit say, I, I, I keep throwing this number one at you. Spirit say, I keep telling you to practice the spirit of no. I keep telling you to clean house. You better get them jokers up out that jank. If they don't belong there, get them out. Spirit say, do not forget the moonlight. This ain't no, no clout for me to follow my moonologies or anything like that. But I would suggest if you're divine feminine, you better tune into something. If you don't want to watch my things on Monday, when I'm explaining the moon and how it ties into our emotional cycle and the divine feminine, I suggest you go research it yourself then. Uh, it ain't about me. It's about follow what it is that spirit is saying. You better tune into it. Spirit say no time for games. It's time to tap into the wisdom that is you. I hear somebody need to put some ferns inside their house or you have ferns. Maybe your name is fern. Maybe you like the name. I don't know. Something about fern is up here in this energy. I still feel the essence of time is of the essence here. Very clearly. I see that there's like an hourglass here. Like you know where the sand is going from the top of it, sprinkling out. And you think that it's real slow and you got all the time in the world. Spirit said, no, you don't. I told you to move before. Your surrender is what gives you the strength. You see how she balancing this here? She got one leg here to balance, one leg out. This is all surrender. She's fine. She's okay. She's trusting. But while she's trusting and standing on solid ground here, trying to balance herself on the one limb, the other is stretching out in the ways in which it should because I am divinely protected. Eyes closed. I am creating a whole nother world that is my divine world anyway because I am willing to release and let go and into the unknown, which is the beauty in which I have always asked about. More really than what I can actually fathom. So I don't even know what to ask for anymore. I'm just willing to go into the unknown. By and through the spirit. All right. That's y'all's collective reading for uh, this week. I'll be back Sunday. If you like the collective readings, they happen every Sunday. This one is a makeshift one because Sunday things were going on in the spirit. And I only go under the unction and I had divine feminine work to do for the whole collective divine feminine universally. So it didn't come by and through on Sunday. It came today. <laughs> get it how you can get it. If you... Um, if you like what you hear here, if you feel like, you know, I could be of assistance along your healing journey, that is what I do. My profession, my gifting, everything about my existence is about rebirthing in my home first and then out to the other people via YouTube or whatever, you know, portion in life, you, you know, you, you come into my space, okay? Know that if you're coming into my space or so this video has hit you however it hits you, that you were called unto the prophetic mantle that be on my life right now. Most certainly if you're a woman and you're listening to me. Spirit of God say you can listen to the conveyed message. But, but, but I'm not here to convince you. Right? I'm just the rebirth. I'm here to, to assist you prophetically through the cards, through intuitive, through the mentorship programs, through the healing programs that I have. Through the healing trauma and, 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 you know, and, and wounds of the heart workshops. As well as the Moonology, the Women Crush Wednesday readings that we do. All of these things go together. 
If you go watch the very first video up until now, you can see that each video has story to tell that links into the other. This ain't no game for me. This is of no gain for me other than the uplifting of the divine feminine and, and being true to my gifting and being true to the call all my life. Watch the video and don't subscribe if you want to. It don't much matter to me as long as you get the information, right? Because that's what spirit wants you to do. Get the information, all right? So that's it. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love and all things great and grand will be beckoned unto you. The reason why there's such a heaviness and conviction in the voice and not such a sweetness and laughter that typically my readings come in is because there is such a mandate right now for the divine feminine. And because spirit don't give it to me in a way where it's like we can play with it, I can't give it to you like we can play around with it, okay? I need you to get the girth of what this thing is, the importance of what this is, okay? We need to get out of these spaces of being babied by like readings and stuff where we think that like men something for us. There's work that you have to do. These are just guidance for you. But you have to do something with it. And you have to watch something for more than a purpose of being entertained. We are entertained and pacified enough, which is why we walking around still broken, but entertained like a mug. Don't you want to be free and whole so when you're watching something for entertainment or doing something for entertainment, you're actually in the moment and enjoying that thing? I want to enjoy it and not, not wanting it to, to, to end because then I got to go back to real world. That when I, when I feel like this part of entertainment is done, whatever the entertainment is for you, not the readings, but just regular fun, that when it's over, I'm not upset that it's over because my real life, far supersedes these moments of me getting into something else. Those are additions, but my real life be healed and whole and happy and free and abundant and exciting for me. That when I choose a vacation, when I choose entertainment, it's something that still feeds me because my entire life is built off of the purity and the love and the newness, the joy and peace. You understand? Y'all remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand to be beckoned unto you.